What's in my happy mail parcel? Hello and welcome to the treasured page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. And I'm going to have a little catch up with you. I've finally been able to get back to the craft room and have a nice relaxing time here. And I am just feeling that sense of oh, relief as I'm in my crafting chair and just slowing down once more with you all and I'm looking at two projects so this one is going to be the builder journal that we've got going on and this is also the April alchemy and last time you saw me using beetroot to dye papers and also this was the result of the fabric that we used so that is <laughs> you can even see in my haste where I tried to iron it we've got a bit of an impression of an iron there so that's why it's got such a funny colour because I did not leave it to dry naturally so that's probably something that we need to do um, I've had lots of messages from you all thank you very much telling me how you've managed to dye your tea towels and not so much your papers <laughs> But just to let you know, I am using um, a white cotton bed sheet for dyeing fabrics here. So that's the colour that we've got. So that was the white bed linen and that is 100% uh, cotton. And we were able to achieve that. So I'm, pre I'm really pleased I didn't use any mordant. Um, I haven't got round to talking about that yet, but uh, some of you may already know that you can use alum which will help and there's lots of other fixatives and things that we use. It's not really a subject that I'm particularly familiar with but I just like to dabble in it and have a play. I have dyed fabrics before where I've used um, shop bought dye and things like that but there's something really exciting about just finding the thing and chopping it up and seeing what happens and almost not knowing all the technicalities of what works and what doesn't because sometimes the experiment, the journey to find what works for you is the most interesting and that's because of the mistakes that you make within. We learn from mistakes and we adapt to change and alter things. So if we are given the instruction to do in step-by-step -step perfect way, and then our results fall short of that. We can feel a bit flat and deflated, but if we have a discovery of our own and just have a play, we can either be really excited by unexpected results, which spurs us on to try even more, or we have a, a moment where we've made a mistake and we learn from it we know not to do that again that gets anchored in our brains we remember it and we come up with new ideas new innovative ideas that creative people can do and that is why it's quite nice to not go reading up on absolutely everything it's fun to play so this is without a mordant a mordant is a mordant is something that will help get the dye stuck into the fabric or the fibers um, uh, we do know that beetroot dye is reactive to sunlight so this will fade in the sunlight so if you put your cloth out in the sun the chances are you are going to get a very pale result so that's been something that I've done in the past I've put my papers out in the sunshine and they've reacted and they've been bleached by the sun so that's also interesting if you're using beetroot dye you could put a stencil or some lace over the top and as long as the lace isn't too see-through and the stencil is dark you could get an interesting impression where the sun bleaches out the stencil all I've got is this at the moment but if I'd got a bigger one uh, we might get some leaf impressions or if you make something with some holes in it just by making hole punches it's another experiment to try so we'll have to have a look at that. So if you're following along with this fun little idea of putting your dyed experiments into a fun booklet this was made out of packaging paper it could be a file folder that you scrunch up and just get wet and damp and scrunch it up. You can add a little bit of oil if you want to or glycerine or a mineral oil and then you would be able to rub your 
inks over it or spray it with some oxide ink and, and get a suede effect. That's all that is. And then you can add your papers and you can have your own little apothecary book. So that is for the April Alchemy. Uh, the next video coming out is this Saturday. Uh, Brigitte at Klee Black Creations is putting out the next uh, video and that's going to involve turmeric. So that will be a yellow tone and we can have a look at that. So that is very exciting, so do tune in and watch that. You can watch with the subtitles, and uh, Brigitte puts up a lot of English on there as well, but it really is, you can just watch and observe how she puts things together, and she's a wonderful artist, and it's a lovely, lovely process to just sit and watch. So we're going to, we're going to all tune into that. But I realised I left you hanging on the last video and I completely forgot to open my parcel. And I've been really, really good to not open it. So I'm desperate to see what's inside because for the Builder Journal, I'm making a journal over the year and I'm building it up very slowly. And I'm only allowed to use the things that I've been sent from my swap partners in the UK. There are nine of us and this quarter, this three month period, um, I have got my swap partner Marie and she has sent me this so this has all got to go in here and whatever's in here I can only use in my builder journal. This is where I've kept my signature um, that I shall be working on and then I've got other signatures which I built with the papers that I've been sent. I've got some fun things in here I'm allowed to use. Right away just that so you can see that I'm keeping it all completely separate from everything else and I'm going to have a look at this and if you don't have a swap partner that's fine you can collect up some bits maybe from a thrift store or a charity shop and you just put them in a bag or a box and say I am making a journal out of just that and even before you do any of that maybe go and have a look what you already have things you've been saying you're going to use but haven't got round to yet dig it out, put it in a designated box or bag and say, right, the time has come. I'm just going to make my journal out of that and really limit yourself to whatever you put in your box. So you don't have to feel you need to have a swap partner or happy mail or any of those things. But this is what I've got here. Okay, and I can use the packaging as well. So that's great. So we'll put that up there because the packaging is just as useful. Okay, so I've got washi tape sticker that says fragile, handle with care. Now this comes from a wonderful lady in Cornwall in the UK and she runs her own craft workshops at, within the community and she has been doing journaling and showing people how to make journals and it's absolutely wonderful. It's a wonderful community spirited thing to be able to do. So if you do, ha if you do live in a place where you could gather others together and offer crafts or uh, um, something like a craft fate or a stool or something, it's really lovely to get get people into the, into the journaling process and vintage journaling and making their own books. It's really about getting the message out. So there we go. I'm going to have a look at what, oh my goodness, look at that. That's really, oh wow. Oh wow. Let's pull this out. So this has all been protected. Take the packaging away. And oh, look at that, with a bead on the end. That's so clever. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I really love that. Oh, wow, I've got scraps, which I said. <laughs> and then this is the card. Let's have a look. And yes, she hasn't sewn it together, so I can sew that into the signature. Oh, look, that's so good. So when it's glued down, I will see this lovely ink effect there. That's brilliant. Okay, and then, oh, that's really lovely with um, the Edith Holden bird's nest and uh, then the thrushes sang. Oh, that's so lovely. Beautiful. Look, hummingbird. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, so this would slot in 
like that and then it would appear like that so I can get that out. Great thumb hole there, everything's been inked, it all looks stunning really great so there you go if you haven't seen how to make these do have a look at the playlist for build a journal you can easily make yourself you only need one if you're following along with this but they are addictive so you might like to make more and uh, what we would do is we are going to sew it into the journal there and then glue it shut so it comes like that and then it becomes an interactive pocket which will swing over and then there's the option to add, if I wanted to, I could add a pocket, um, maybe cut it down so I, I recreate what I've got there, look. Um, because that's the same bird, isn't it? So I could have a little pocket on the back with the scrap I've been given. So that's really, really fun. I could even do the same there. But um, that's all for all for playing with, so that's absolutely excellent so that was the swap that was what was asked and required just in the box just to keep that all together so we know we've got that and we'll look at that in a minute and then we'll just see what else she's sent so I have to keep everything I'm keeping the fragile washi tape and then I've got some packaging paper so I'll be able to use this as well, my goodness. Oh my goodness, me. So <laughs> I've got matching napkins. No, I haven't, that's different, isn't it? So that's a diff, oh, look. Look at the bee. Oh, <laughs> well, I love bumblebees on lavender. That's so good. Gosh, where do you find these things? Look at that. Okay, so we've got two napkins. Um, embossed paper which is always exciting because I don't have an embosser I don't have a Sizzix wind up thingy my bobby and then some vintage bits here look an old jewellers oh that's really cool decorators from Andover really lovely vintage book page there oh look oh look Oh wow, with the number on, cool, wow, that looks like wallpaper, oh beautiful things, beautiful things, <laughs> some cards here, they are, put oh, they're nice aren't they, they are lovely, happy every day, and Paris, and uh, seaside in Paris, yes, I appreciate those things very much, this is wonderful, more more um, vintage scrap of wallpaper oh these is, this is going to be so much fun and then to do oh look so that folds down that's nice that's interesting it's an interesting bit isn't it so we could work out something fun with that my brain is going into gear here now look oh look See, that could become a flip out. Oh, look. So this is from a vintage book, Shillings and Pence. Oh, it really is that thick. That paper is really lovely and thick. It's got that vintage smell about it, so you know it's old. <laughs> More embossed card. That's lovely. Oh, gosh, look at this. Oh, the cathedral, Worcester Cathedral, from an al old album. Lovely, lovely vintage pieces. Oh gosh, I feel very spoilt here. I've got some ledger paper, seals, sales, rentals. Oh look. Okay, ledger paper, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, this has been embellished. So that's a fun journaling card. I like the lion. Lion, lion coffee. Lion coffee, the king of coffees. <laughs> king of coffee from Ohio. Oh, look. 
That's nice. Oh, look, that is pretty. More embossing um, tags, beautiful. So effective, isn't it? Well, I haven't really got too much embossed paper, but when you see it like that, it's really, really making me want to go out and buy one of those embossing machines. Oh, look, and you've made me something. Oh, and I've been made something here, a beautiful tag. A little belly band, a little fabric swatch, all stuck down like a cluster or collage, an old vintage stamp, which is Dutch, and um, tea, no, cigarette cards. That's clever, because you've cut that out of an original collector's. So that's um, orchids being collected, fragrance. Ah. Oh. Fragrant Orchid Cigarette Card, that's a very pretty botanical one, not very easy to find these days. And that looks like some stamping, vintage, really fun, great stuff. So, so there we are, um, oh, this is sweet, this could be my little, little note, oh a little note, let me just make sure. Dear Melanie, here's the March swap. I hope you like what I have created for you. Please enjoy the extra goodies. Thank you for all that you do. Love, Marie. <laughs> and then in here, I've got... Oh, these are some little challenge pieces, aren't they? So that's nice. Look at that. That is, um, that's paper that's been twisted in a purple. Ah. Oh. I like purple and blue. I think she might have noticed those are two colours that I really, really get on with. <laughs> um, in vintage journaling, though, they are a little bit more tricky. So uh, we'll have to see because this does not have to be vintage at all, does it? It could be all sorts. Um, but then the, the challenge is to alter things. And I love the challenge of, of something like that. So we'll see, uh, particularly with our dyeing and everything, what we can do with that because that's made of paper it's beautiful it's almost too good to start um, altering I love it I love 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 but I might be able to bind something with that oh what's this oh look Any buttons oh they're sticking up embellish embellish pieces little glitter pieces and we've got beautiful forever and inspire oh they're nice those so those are things that can dangle and swing and those are things that could be stuck on. And then some wooden embellishments, a flower and a butterfly, and um, a leaf or a mushroom, maybe a toadstool. We could make it look like a toadstool. And then some brads. They, they, let's put that in because I feel like I might hurt myself. And they can go on the pages and be hooked in. So I've, I haven't got any brads, so those are useful, obviously. And a little stick on, what feels... Yeah, oh, very sticky actually. A little book plate or a ticket. Oh gosh, wow, okay. So that's, that's really fun. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this packaging that I've been sent and I'm going to put all the little embellishment pieces because I think that they're going to get lost if I'm not careful. I'll put those all in there. Okay, I'm going to take my embellished pieces out. I've got some red that came. Oh, this is the this is the ribbon that I dyed from my last swap, and that's become a nice um, dusty rose colour instead of a, a lilac. I've got a paper clip and some embellishments there, so we'll use those and, and put them in. Then I found these from Shirley, so those are good. Uh, those are good. These are good. Good to use. I've got some stamp. Oh yes, and then I've got this. I've got some stamps in here which I was sent, but I'm not going to use them. I'll use that because that came. Um, I'm not going to use those because I think these came in my Christmas one. I'm getting a bit confused as to what I've been sent, so I only want what I've been sent. All right, and then that we had that last time, and then I've got one there. All right, so I've got the papers on the bottom that I can use. I'm going to add this packaging paper in here. That's great. It's 
those are all the papers I can use. And then these are my embellished pieces. Right. Papers in there and embellishment pieces are going to go where I can see them in this cellophane packet. Right, so I'm going to add my lace in here as well. Trim. All right, it's coming together now. Two cards for paint swatches. I've got a couple of napkins there. I'm only adding them in because they're small and they were sent to me by Shirley. So those, I've got three of those and they're springtime, which will help with that theme. And then I've just got some little scraps that I can dye different colours. And then I'm going to put in those and the paper clip in here at the back. And my gold numbers and letters. Right, okay, so this is off this is off of two swaps, and that's already a lot. That is a lot in there, guys. So you really, really don't need much to make a journal. Um, we're going to look at where this is going to go. And then this is part of, um, that's my card that I will add in at the end. All right. All right, so let's look at where we are at at the moment. So I've got to make a journal and I have been sent this from Joanna and that was a napkin. And I've got to somehow make fabric or make book cover or book paper in, in a liner. So I'm thinking that that could help me if I don't get any fabric throughout the swap. So I'm going to, so I'm sort of keeping things out of the way where I think that they could potentially be useful for the lining of the main cover because I've got to make a cover out of all of this as well. Can be done, I've done it before. I'll show you my big journal that I made on a previous year long swap. Uh, so it can be done. Now, where are we going to have this? Because it's got to be in the middle. Actually, that's going to work out really nicely with those colours, isn't it? So let's see if it works. Now, if you want to join in, you just need to get some things together. You can have a look at the previous video and you can make yourself one of these pockets. You will be able to then... Um, add it to then then you can add it to the center of your signature you will then sew it in eventually when we finish signature one we'll be able to sew it all in and we'll have our signature all made up and ready to go I'm going to add in the card the journaling card and I think that this is great so this is all part of my journal coming together now There we go, isn't that super? Isn't that lovely? So this will be glued down and that'll swing over. And then I could maybe bring this into another part of the journal here or here and use these scraps for something else. Or I could make a pocket and make it all tie in. So we would just trim that down and then that would be a pocket there. And that's how that would look um, could come down a little bit so we don't lose the tail and then that is where I could have my card for my swap on so I could go oh what was all that about and I and I can look or oh, one of the beautiful tags she sent me I'm going to just do it because I like it so and then if I keep that strip as well that will be for something else so let's do that while we're thinking about it strike while the iron's hot so this is the scrap that just came off from making one of these pockets and then we'll just so I can line the pack pattern up just take a bit more we put this through a trimmer 
So if you've made one of these, you will get a scrap like this if you've made one of the policy closure pockets because it just sort of lends itself. So I just have to line up on there, really. A little bit of a gusset. So I'm just going to fold those in and then what I'll do is I'll taper them off a bit so that we can... take away a bit of the bulk and just make them fold in a bit like that and then I think I wanted a bit off the bottom a bit off the bottom which is get it right get it right is going to be there <laughs> and so I'm just going to fold that bit in Cut this corner bit out here. Taper, taper. Cut that corner out. Just angle it in like that. And there we go. I might not even need such a wide bit. I don't want the glue to fall apart. If you use a stick glue, they are usually water-based and they can come unstuck in humid environments, damp environments. So wherever there's humidity and moisture, you are going to find your stick glues just are not going to be up to the task of anything archival or anything long-lasting. So you do need to invest in some good glue. You don't necessarily need to invest in something as a something like a Fabri-Tac, but a uh, good silicon glue, something not so water-based is a good idea. Yoohoo, do a good one. Yoohoo is a good glue actually, but uh, just needs to be something a little bit more sturdy. And just to keep that stuck, I'm gonna put a little clip on there just while that's setting. Uh, that one as well okay so this is all coming together so that is my pocket and then you know I'm, I could embellish that as I go so we make it as we may get a little bit of lace or a little bit of trim or something that could go there and then I've got this so I could bring that here I might like it up there I think what I'll do is I'll take a paper clip and I'm just going to pin that there as an idea and then I can start working out what else I might to like to use that for. It could be that I just want some elements for some clusters or something. But I'm going to add that in because that's going to all tie in with this idea. And hopefully now we can see if this pocket is going to hold. Yes, perfect. Oh, there we are. So that's a very quick way to make a pocket to add onto the back of this policy closure. Absolutely lovely. And this reminds me of a cuckoo clock with a pendulum weight. I think that's excellent. So that's really excellent. So thank you very much, Maria, if you're watching from Cornwall in England. That is going to stay in this signature now. Works really well with these pages. The colours all fit in. And I'm going to turn this over now. And then I'm going to add, the, I might even enjoy colouring that in, and I'm going to add your little message. So there we go, that's how that's going to work. And I can write over here. Um, it's just going to be built up like that, and it's going to have some wonderful ideas going on within it. And then we'll bind it into one big book at the end, and using the scraps and all the extra pieces to make the journal cover, which will have to happen slowly over time. And then I've got to remember I've got these things to use. So there we go, that is really, really cool. So that is going into the signature. And then I will just keep it all together in my signature keeper. And you can see how that was made as out of this. Um... Oh, and don't forget that. Yes, that just fell in on me. So I need to put that somewhere. Stick that onto the plastic so that I will be able to get it another time. 
so that's quite fun that I can see everything. So that is what I'm working on, and so we've done that today. It's, that's a lovely little uh, session of making sure that everything looks right. I'm going to have a little think now of all the other things that I've been sent and start making some ephemera in uh, the next video for Build a Journal. And then we've got more coming up with April Alchemy, which will be fun with the paper dyeing and altering of things. And then also we've got the flip through of the Marianne North Journal coming up this weekend. So filming for that has been done. So that is going out this weekend so you can all relax and enjoy half an hour of listening to me waffling on. <laughs> if you've got nothing better to do and you just want some quiet, calming space. Just a little flip through to f tie up some loose ends of the Marianne North Journal. And then I shall be back next week with more Builder Journal, April Alchemy and some more fun ephemera making and many ideas along the way. So, so I hope you've been inspired to have a look and see what linen or cotton or old bed sheet you might have or pillowcases. Just and dig out and have a go at how we might start altering and bringing in fabric to our journals and also looking at things that we would otherwise throw away, the scraps of the beetroot or spices in the cupboard. Have a, have a good look, see if you can find any turmeric spice hiding at the back for that one-time spice rub you may have had and then totally forgot about. Um, that's how I found mine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can have a look at how we can do some things and uh, hopefully... A Brigitte will give us lots of inspiration. I'm going to leave it there, guys, and I will be back very soon with my next video. So thank you very much for joining me. Do leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and hear more and certainly learn more about all the different things that are going on here at the Treasured Page. And above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye-bye now.